So we join me in prayer together. We gather 15 years after the day when politics, religion, and culture clashed in a tragic way. On this anniversary day, we gather to remember the events of September 11, 2001. Let us not forget that we are God's people journeying towards God's kingdom. On this day, violence created chaos, destroyed lives, and generated fear. We remember the suffering born in pain. We remember the media images of frightening scenes and of human terror that are forever burned into our consciousness. We remember with confidence, born of faith, that this is not God's way. On this day, lives were lost, peace was shattered, and hope was endangered. We remember the cries of the people caught amid the fire and dust, the family whose lives and whose loved ones were never returned home after that day, the shared mourning of a frightened nation. We remember the day when the skies were no longer peaceful, but rather threatened with the vision of fear. We remember with confidence that hope is still God's way. On this day, strangers became friends and ordinary people became heroic. We remember courageous men and women who worked tirelessly to save lives, seek the lost, and heal the wounded. On this day, we remember men and women living in danger far from home and their families who need God's peace. Remember women, men, and children around the world who live in constant fear and danger. We remember that God loves all the little children of the world. On this day, we pray for God's kingdom to come on earth as it is in heaven. Remember that God's kingdom is where the last are first, the lost are found, and the weak are made strong. We remember that we are required to do justice, love kindness, and walk humbly with our God. Remember that we are called to love our neighbor as ourselves. Remember that God's grace is a gift that gives life to the world. 